Hey, what's up with it, Hood News peeps? It's your girl Grizzy live here with the Hood News. Uh, we are on the side of 59 right now. Search is underway. This is the where Texas Ecu Search is at right now. A lot of you guys from up north, y'all might be passing by this way, but they've got the ATVs out. This is Texas Ecu Search off the side of. Uh, what is this, Trinity? Yeah, Trinity yeah this is the, the Trinity River Bridge. Yeah, right off of 59. Texas EcuSearch, man, they're the big dogs. They're in. They're, they're here, and they've got this sectioned off, of course. We can't really get too close. Search is underway right now for uh, Audrey Cunningham right here at the bridge that goes over the Trinity River off of 59. So what we're going to... What I'm going to be doing is just going from one scene to the next to the next, you know, just, you know, no, no updates, but just giving you guys at home a visual of what's going on. So these are Texas EcuSearch people. Shout out to them. And they know about the hood news and we definitely know about them. These are rock stars, man. This is right off the Trinity River, folks. This is Grizzly Live here with the hood news. Let me show you guys. Okay, cool. well, um, Again, no updates. Just giving you guys visuals because I know there's so many people that are invested and very worried, and you've been praying, and 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 you just want what's best you know for audrey we're just all hoping that she's found safe you know we're hoping for the best we really are there's not much that we could see over there but it's a little bit of the setup see they got the atvs Yeah, so they're going to be, they're already uh, launching the boats in the water and stuff. Just, just a heads up. Yeah, it's a few miles south of where we were last at, you guys. You know, we were over there by the Livingston um, Dam. Right there off the Router Marina. See, they got ATVs. We can't get too close. You know, we're going to be very respectful of this scene. Uh, just once again, no updates. Texas EcuSearch is here. We're just going to show you the different aspects of what's going on. Just a while ago, I showed you guys the FBI moving in on a particular uh, spot off of FM. What was it uh, where we were just at right now? 1988. 1988. We were out there off of FM 1988. FBI came, moved in. They picked up. Uh, some items and and, they, and it's not a notebook okay i'm gonna tell y'all right now because some of you guys are speculating some bs that y'all saw somewhere else on facebook please stop with the speculation man let's not do that mm. anytime there's a story like this we got a lot of people throwing out some some curveballs and, and we're gonna ask you guys to stop spreading that misinformation man because it's all wrong yeah they've got great technology you guys texas thank you search is good in in search and recovery like they're they are the best so shout out to them shout out to tim miller see there and we are right now over the trinity river the they're doing land and water i mean they're just out there probably with drones too so land air and water they i'm sure Y'all be safe, man. We are out here. Let me see exactly where we're at. And and today, I've got two of our Hood News peeps there with me today. Like, they're keeping me company. I'm so thankful. Man, I, I want to thank this lady, man. She came and bought me flowers, y'all. Like, that was the sweetest thing. Just, you guys are so good to me out here, man. I've, it's been handshakes and hugs and lots of love from these good people out here in this part of Texas. And, and they're from different towns. So, you know, uh, Livingston, uh, 
cold springs like all these different people man just amazing and the the unity out here is is very inspiring for real we need i we can we we need to do more of this yeah we're on 59 near the trinity river bridge for those now tuning in let me show you guys right there this is 59. We're just a few miles south of where we were at by the Livingston Dam. This is in regards to missing 11-year-old uh, Audrey Cunningham. Thank you guys for your donations too, man. Thank you. We had some hood news peeps asking about lunch. I'm not really sure what to tell you because we don't know where we're going to be from one moment to the next. I know there's some good people wanting to do some things. Um, thank you. Thank you all. But yeah, there they are, man. We got uh, Texas Ecu Search. They're the rock stars right now, man. Shout out to all our volunteers out here. Look, look at them. The organization. They, they, I'm telling you guys, these are pros, man. They know what they're doing. Anytime they get involved, it's such a blessing. Lori Spell says, can you please recap and touch base on the parents and what they're saying? Uh, we don't have much comment. Like, they're heartbroken. I mean, their child is missing. Uh, last night, mom gave an interview. You can feel the, the, the emotion and then dad, you know, uh, he's, been, he's been very sad through all this. You know, he's a man that doesn't, he's very shy. And, but trust me, I mean, they're, they're very broken right now without their girl. Here they go. This is Texas, Texas EcuSearch folks. Bunch of good people out here, man. Shout out to them. I'm just trying to show you guys the different aspects of this search. God bless these people, man. There they go. See, there they go. The text, make sure you're following them. They're moving as a team in unison. God bless these people. They moved in early this morning and they're out here. Yes. And I'm really shocked at how many people know about the hood news out here, y'all. I thought that I was going to come in as some kind of outsider, but you guys have made me feel like family. I just want to cry, y'all. Like, man, the, the emotions out here, the camaraderie is, is special, man. I'll never forget, like, the, the, the love that these people have for a child, you know, looking for her. And everybody's just coming together like a family, man. It's amazing. It's amazing. We need to do this. We need to see more of this, you know, like for we have so many missing people. And so, yeah, it's very inspiring. Yeah, they follow the hood news. Like I, I was so in shock, like a page called a, the, a page called the hood news. Like who would who would follow that? That's it's, I just never knew. I just never had an idea. But I feel like I met a bunch of cousins for real, y'all. It's really, man, these people are so good, man. They're genuinely good hearted people. Look at that. Shout out to law enforcement. And they're still out there too. 
They're, they're searching along the water. Air, water, and land. Uh, thank you, Carrie. Thank you, uh, everybody that's supporting the Hood News. I appreciate it. Like, the, the real heroes are these people out here right now. And I'm going to try to get training to get certified so I can get, you know, get out there too. I encourage everybody, you know, if you're interested in helping, they, I'm sure they will never turn down somebody that's trained. And there are places where you can get training for this kind of, for this kind of work. You know, this is the Lord's work they're doing out here. You know, they, they can only get the, the volunteers that are certified for this because, you know, they know, uh, you know, how, how to handle this kind of thing. They know not to compromise evidence or anything that's found. They know exactly what to do. So that's why a lot of volunteers aren't able to help right now that want to because they might lack that training. So I encourage everybody to go out there and try to get that. We'll, we'll be discussing that more this week. We're going to make more awareness about it because there's so many of you guys at home that want to help. I got so many messages, people like Grizzy. People did stop by too in person. Some people say and some people do and some people, you know, really did come out and, and wanted to help. Unfortunately, it's uh, it's this way for right now because they need the people that are, you know, skilled for this. There they go, friends. Mm -hmm. Texas Ecu Search, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up for right now. Just stay tuned. I'm going to be out here all day doing these updates, just bringing you guys close to, to uh, this investigation that's underway, looking for Audrey Cunningham, 11 years old. She went missing more than 48 hours ago, did not come home for, from school, uh, supposedly left at a bus stop. She never boarded the bus. We're actually a few miles away from her home. Uh, when we were at the Livingston Dam, we were 5.6 miles away. I've kind of lost orientation right now, so I don't know how far away from our home we are. But this is an area of interest also in the Trinity River. We're right alongside the bridge. Let me show you guys. And if you missed the last video, go check that out because we were over FM 1988. FM 1988, FBI moved in quickly. They pulled up about four no five or six fbi persons got out of a vehicle a black suv they hurried up went alongside the 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 i guess the river one of the banks or something and they grabbed some some things put them in uh in, in plastic bags and they left quickly they did not like they knew what they were going to go pick up and they did so I mean, just crazy to see something like that. They moved swiftly. They did not waste time. They did, they did not stay around. They grabbed what they grabbed and they left. So go check that out too. Uh, shout out to the FBI. Shout out to all the different agencies that are involved in this investigation. Uh, everybody, man, just coming together. Texas Ecu Search. I see JNR Transports and Towing out here. I just see a bunch of good, good people, man. And shout out to my girls. My, my, my ride of dice. Look, here they go. Hey, <laughs> man, they've been my ride of dice since yesterday. Yeah, shout out to my girl Ariel, too. Man, I got a lot of friends out here now. It's so cool. But yeah, man. Okay, we're 17 minutes away from her home. Yeah, we're 17 minutes away from Audrey's home. So what does this all have in connection? We don't know. It's just more questions than answers. Prayers going up for her safe return. Reporting live here off the Trinity River, 59 Freeway. It's your girl, Grizzy. Back to you.